We've got the sieve attachment. Sieve Dalek. Oh, this is awesome. Hello and welcome back to the Shallow Proc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the Shallow Proc, as it's sometimes known, with myself, Thomas, and my friend back in the UK. Uh, Paul. Yes, so I'm currently in uh, Panama Bay, where all uh, (laughs) (laughs) where I keep my offshore bank account, all the the royalties I'm getting from the shallow proclamation. From the shallow proclamation. Yeah, Paul doesn't get any. Uh, (laughs) Definitely operating at a loss. He's struggling with uh, struggling to feed his family, and I'm uh, just jetting off to sunnier uh, climes. Yeah. Um. We do love each other, don't we? <laughs> it's, it just got deep all of a sudden. Like... <laughs> um, we're watching The Power of the Daleks. We are. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been all right, hasn't it? It's been good. We were just saying, like, actually, we've not said a lot during it. I think that's because we've been quite engrossed by it. Um, yeah, and it's tense. There's a ten. I think I've mentioned it in one of the previous episodes. There's a tension about it that, it, like, an, a heavy a heaviness that hangs over the episodes as you're waiting for the Daleks to sort of their plan to come to fruition and all hell to break loose. So I don't know. I, I feel like it doesn't feel like a jolly episode. You know, it's not something that's full of banter. Well, saying that, I mean, Ben's got a lot of good sort of lines, hasn't he? He's often got a a good line to come back at everything, but... Um... Yeah, and the Doctor's quite an oddball sort of figure, isn't he? Mm, um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, I think that's it. It's the little quips that just make it a bit funnier, isn't it? And uh, just relieve the tension a tiny bit. Um, but in general, it has been just kind of building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking very... What What are you? Like, is that what even rabbit? is that? run like a rabbit it's definitely not a rabbit like <laughs> a mouse or a wolf like what is it like it's, that's, that's a, a rabbit, rabbit. That's, that's a rabbit. rabbit yeah um cool well should we jump into it run like uh, a rabbit? i think we should yep dive straight in is it me or does that look like a worse print of the intro than some of the other ones yeah it does actually doesn't it i would have thought they were just on the animations, you would have thought they just kind of standardise it. Well, yeah. We are your servants. <laughs> it went very high pitch. That one's going through puberty. It's a Zoom call. Here, yeah. One moment, Governor, Ahead of its time. Yeah. It's a weird thought because yeah. we look at that and yes, course, we're like, oh yeah, they're they've got a video conferencing thing, but this <laughs> wouldn't have existed at the time. No, not even close. He's got a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello commuters, with your computers. <laughs> it's just a little matter of the cell doors. Heaven help us. Oh, that's cool. Dalek factory. Oh, they're kind of growing the mutants. You've got the sieve attachment. Sieve Dalek. Oh, this is awesome. It's like, cool, we've put the uh, living component in that one. Oh, I'm gutted this isn't surviving this episode. Yeah, a real shame. Look at all those plungers coming down. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That is uh, quite a finish right there. What a what an ending! Yeah. How big is this capsule? Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's got to be my highlight. Yeah, I think same. You know, that final scene is definitely my favourite part. Seeing the Daleks being, you know, put together, taking the mutant out of the out of the goo, out of the kind of soup or whatever it is that they're growing it in. Yeah. And then, uh, putting them into the machines and attaching all the bits and then so many of them there um, it was it was utterly compelling to watch mm. wasn't it yeah um, absolutely yeah are we allowed to have the same highlight uh, yeah that's allowed that's allowed yeah <laughs> nice. yeah i thought i just thought that was brilliant 
Um, such a shame it doesn't exist. Yeah. That's, I mean, there have been moments in previous ones. Well, like, uh, yeah, the final episode of um, the uh, Tenth Planet, uh, mm. where you're like, oh, I wish that exists. But this one in particular, I was like, oh, Dalek Factory. That yeah, amazing. exactly. Although maybe it'd be quite underwhelming, the actual message, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they have just two Daleks at the end in shot or something. And a load of mirrors. <laughs> well, I guess that's the good thing about the animation is that you can, you don't have to skimp on it, do you? You don't have to do any trickery like you might have done in the studio to create the sense of numbers. Um, yeah, <laughs> cardboard cutouts. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think even I was just thinking on that final scene where the Daleks were coming out the door, saying like, "We are the new race of Daleks." I wonder whether that was, even though it's just the animation, they can do whatever they like on the animation. I wonder whether that's a bit of an homage to how they made it work on them. Um, the screen because it's it's quite common to have you know if you've only got three dalek props or however many it's quite common to have them come through the door go off camera and loop back round and so they, you know they all just keep coming round and round yeah. in a circle you know to give the sense of greater numbers but uh that's a know. good point yeah so and i wondered if that was a little homage to that because obviously you don't need to film your shot like that in an animation necessarily um, but I wondered if they were just trying to be a little bit more faithful to the materials in some way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's good stuff. Lesterson is quite an interesting character, isn't he? Because, as you said, naive. Mm. Um, yeah, now, that that was a nice moment at the end, him kind of realising, oh, yeah, the Doctor was right about these things. Mm. I just love the sieve attachment. It's brilliant, isn't it? As for when they're like, you know, draining some pasta, things like yeah. that, it's part of their um, serving role. So, Speaking of mutants, I was thinking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the other day. Okay, <laughs> right. It's like, how many words? Like each word does something. It's like, teenage, okay. Mutant, whoa, okay. Yeah. Ninja, Whoa, that's a curveball. And then turtles, it's like they get progressively bigger. <laughs> Imagine changing the order. Mutant Ninja Turtle teenagers. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's not very relevant, is it? No, I just, uh, no, not at all, in fact. But. Uh... <laughs> um, oh, dear me. No, it's good. It's shaping up nicely, isn't it? Like, it's a. Uh, it's, uh... It's a bit of a, it's kind of a slow burner, because mm. um, we've not had a lot of sort of big dramatic action, have we? No, it's, it's quite small scale in some ways, isn't it? Apart from that final bit there, where we've obviously got a greater scale of Daleks, it's all happening in a very small. Well, I mean, we're supposedly we're in a colony, but we're not seeing a vast amount of it. We're not seeing vast amounts of characters. We're not seeing you know vast amounts of different areas particularly. So it's it's quite quite claustrophobic and there's not a lot of action in you know this in going on is there um but it's still holding my attention mm. Mm. yeah totally i think because I, like i said it has that it has this there is that sense of tension to it where you know something's coming um but you're just waiting and you're not quite sure which way it's going to come from because obviously you've got the rebels and you've got the daleks um, the doctor being discovered as not being the actual examiner. So there's all these things which, at some point, you know are going to come to a head, and you're kind of waiting for it to unravel, I suppose. So um, yeah, we've got two part two episodes le left. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be interested to see what happens now because obviously it, we have said before that sometimes episode five of a six parter can be a bit of a clunker or just time filler, whereas episode six normally picks it up again. But you know, hopefully that won't be the case. Yeah, part five of the first Dalek story was the ordeal, wasn't it? Yeah, was it part five of it? I don't know if it was or, or was maybe, it? Yeah, either four or five. Because it was seven parts of the Dalek story, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah. So it might have been episode six or something. I can't remember now. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. I think it's a, it's a good start, and it's is the Daleks are being used really well. I think. Yeah, um, succulent, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah well Any, anything else to add i yeah 
just again yeah enjoying uh Troughton and his recorder playing antics <laughs> um, it's yeah. kind of his thinking posture isn't it yeah kind of i'm just gonna have a quick look at um because i'd said before it's just a shame that we don't have any so i don't think we're gonna get any yeah so we've obviously this this story is entirely missing the next story is entirely missing and it's not a not been animated um so we're not going to get any actual live action Troughton until at least kind of past 10 episodes in I'm not even sure which which episodes survive i'm excited though because if he's your favorite doctor uh it's, it's going to be worth the the wait mm. yeah yeah well hopefully so i think so i mean i think Troughton is is phenomenal so and yeah. Matt Smith, large, I think, took a lot from him, from what I understand. Really? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so I think he definitely watched the Trout and Story when he got the role, I think. Fish fingers and custard. <laughs> I like so, fezzes yeah. now. <laughs> Stovepipe hats, bow ties, yeah. you know, headgear and bow ties. See, it's all there. Yeah, that's interesting. Don't forget to tick all the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> give us a like and subscribe below the, the video um and uh <laughs> we'll be back soon won't we paul we will yes until then goodbye <laughs> goodbye